Now we will come to the section of individual x-rays and start with the x-ray of the knee. This x-ray of the right knee shows reduced joint space shown by the red arrow. Cartilage destruction and reduced joint space is the most important x-ray feature of osteoarthritis. The cartilage destruction is usually more on the medial side. Note that the joint space is more reduced on the medial side. Fibula marks the lateral side. The next important feature is development of osteophytes at the bone corners. Note the small osteophytes shown by the green arrow. The patella may also show osteophytes at its superior and inferior border in the lateral view. Now note the red arrow pointing to a rounded radio opacity lying within the joint cavity. It is termed as a loose body. It may change its position in different x-rays. Sometimes the patient may have a effusion. The joint space is then increased or normal and a soft tissue swelling is seen around the joint. In a lateral view, the patella is separated from the femur by more distance as shown by the arrow. This x-ray of the knee showed marked reduction in the joint space, more so on the medial side. Also note the osteophytes at the bone margins. The lateral view shows osteophytes at the posterior superior and posterior inferior margins of the patella. And in this view, a loose body is seen in the joint, shown by the red arrow. This is osteoarthritis of the knee. This is an advanced stage of the disease with deformity. The leg, that is the tibia, is angulated laterally. This is genu vulgum a lateral angulation of the tibia on femur. Note the destruction of the joint space which may later lead to bony ankylosis. In this x-ray, the tibia is angulated medially over the femur. This is genu varum. So the radiological features of osteoarthritis of the knee are a reduction in the joint space due to cartilage destruction more on the medial side, osteophyte formation in the tibia, less commonly femur and patella, formation of radio-opaque loose bodies in the joint and deformity, more commonly genu valgum.